Hey, welcome back friends. So to this week's video is fairly short. It's a preview video of something we've got upcoming this summer that we're really excited about. And uh, yeah, we're, it's going to be really soon actually. So this video is going to preview our trip out west to northern Arizona and southern Utah. So you guys know we're just weekenders. We have, you know, for normal folks, we have uh, just so much vacation time that we can take. So we are not taking the RV on this trip. We are flying into Phoenix. We'll talk about the itinerary a little bit, but we're flying in. What we are doing, we're staying at a couple of national park lodges. We're staying at a couple of really cool Airbnbs. We're doing some really fun tours. So really this video will be, uh, for those of you who just don't have time to spend three days pulling all the way across the country and three days pulling all the way back, um, this will be a video for you to still experience uh, a trip like this without your RV. Now, we love our RV, don't get me wrong, but like I said, we're just weekenders, and uh, it's just not possible with the time constraints and the, the vacation time that we don't have. Now, those of you that get to pull your RV out there, that's awesome, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that because we won't be talking about campgrounds. We won't be talking about how the, the, the rig is pulling or anything like that. We'll just be talking about some experiences, some tours, so a couple of national park lodges. Let's get started. Okay, because this is a preview video, I just want to be really quick about this and tell you about our itinerary. And then if anything, you know, catches your ear that you want to see more about, that will be in a upcoming video. So uh, I'll start real quickly. We fly into Phoenix. We we live here in Georgia. We fly into Phoenix and then uh, we're going to stay at an at a Airbnb in Page called the Lake Powell Adventure House. We're going to uh, kayak Lake Powell. Of course, we'll see Horseshoe Bend, all that fun stuff. We will be using... Um, Let's see, Lake Powell Kayak and Hike Tour with Lake Powell Adventures. And so you can see that information up here. So uh, we'll be reviewing that for you. We'll take you along with that. And then um, after that, the day after that, we're actually be taking Coral Cliffs Tours. And we're doing the Peekaboo Slot Canyon. So Peekaboo Slot Canyon, Peekaboo Canyon is kind of the less crowded Antelope Canyon. We'll see how that lines up. I know more and more people are, are learning about that over the past couple of years. But, uh, but yeah, it should be a little bit less crowded, and it's in Kanab, Utah. So we'll start in Arizona in Page, and then we'll we'll go to Kanab, Utah for that. And then we're staying at the Bumbleberry Inn at the almost at the entrance of Zion National Park. We'll we'll take you along with us to Zion and let you know how our stay at Bumbleberry is. Now, one note, side note to that is I continue to check the Zion Lodge website three, four, five times today to see if there's any cancellations at the Zion Lodge. We would love to stay there. So if there's a cancellation at Zion Lodge, we will cancel our Bumbleberry Reservation and stay at Zion Lodge. There's a good chance that won't happen, but we keep our fingers crossed. So yeah, we may not be doing Bumbleberry, but very likely we will be. We'll let you know how that stay goes. And then we're going to, from there, we're going to Bryce Canyon and we are staying at Bryce Canyon Lodge. So we'll take you along in the Bryce Canyon Lodge, let you know how that is. And then you, the great thing about that is, you know, you get to you get to wake up and go watch the sunrise at Bryce. Not that you can't do that anyway, but um, we get to watch the sunset. You get to spend a lot of time at Bryce at night and I'll see the stars and all. So that'll be really, really cool. I don't know how much I'll be able to catch on camera because I'm just not good on camera. But, um, but yeah, that should be fun. We'll take you along and let you know how the lodge is at least. Okay. And then uh, from Bryce, we have like a four and a half hour trip down to the Grand Canyon. We are staying on the north rim, oh, sorry, south rim of the Grand Canyon at Kachina Lodge. So that will be another review that will bring, this will be all in one video, by the way. Uh, so I'll, I will let you know how that was, how that, how that panned out, and uh, staying on the rim of the Grand Canyon, that should be a lot of fun. So after the Grand Canyon, we, we ride down to Sedona. We've got a beautiful Airbnb in Sedona. We kind of splurged a little bit on this one, I'll have to admit. And uh, But yeah, just a stunning Airbnb in Sedona. We're going to spend some uh, several days in Sedona, so I think we're spending uh, three or four days in Sedona. It's kind of us calming down before we head back home, but we're doing a uh, pink Jeep tour in Sedona. We have done a video on that. You can see that right here. Just Brooke and I, but this time, of course, we'll be bringing the kids, which I'm really excited about that. Uh, the kids have never been out west, so this will be uh, certainly something different for them. But uh, we'll review the Pink Jeep Tour. This will be a little bit different tour than we took last time. A couple of places will be the same, but, but also we'll have a couple of new places we're going. And so you'll have to check that out as well. Uh, I think we're going to Sliding Rock State Park there in Sedona. So you'll have to, you'll get to see that. And uh, you know I'll give you some tips on that once we experience it. And then Oak Creek Canyon, we have done that hike before. Uh, this time will be with the kids, but Oak Creek Canyon is just stunningly gorgeous, like a miniature Zion. 
Patreon, kind of. But, uh, but yeah, so there you go. Just a quick preview video this week of what you can look forward to in the coming weeks from us. Uh, this is a bucket list trip for us, especially bringing the kids, and we're really looking forward to it. Kind of bummed that we're not taking the RV, but again, it's just not in the cards for us in this stage of life, and uh, we want to do this while the kids are young. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys are great. I hope these upcoming videos, these reviews will be helpful to you, and, and uh, I hope you guys are good. See ya.